I'm John Bradley. I work at Duke University. And my talk is Bespin, an open source system to run reproducible workflows on cloud infrastructure. A goal of Bespin is to enable domain researchers to run good practice bioinformatics workflows, specifically researchers who lack the expertise to build, configure, and run a good practice workflow. These workflows need to be reusable and reproducible. We want to make efficient use of cloud resources to enable many researchers to use these facilities. Oh, all right. <laughs> Bestman is the combination of a curated collection of workflows and services to run them. Bestman is not a general purpose platform for running workflows, but one tailored to make curated workflows accessible and reproducible. The bioinformatic workflows were created through a collaboration with members of our genomic analysis core. We created CWL workflows based on existing best practice shell scripts. This collaboration also informed the design of the services to run the workflows. To enable reproducibility, both the workflows and the associated Docker images need to be versioned. The CWL workflows are versioned via GitHub releases. We release them in packed CWL format so the workflow can be downloaded as a single file. Docker images built for use in these workflows are tagged with their software version number. In all our CWL tools, we specify a Docker image tag for the specific version of software we are targeting. Bestbin provides documentation about each versioned workflow. Our genomic analysis core suggested we provide methods and references documentation suitable for inclusion in a publication which they currently do for their customers. This core maintains these documents manually for its customers. It is a tedious process to update this information when version numbers change. To improve this in Bestbin, the version numbers in the methods section and the entire references section are both generated based on data stored in CWL tool definitions. So if we update a CWL tool to a later version or update the DOI citation, when the new version is added to the system, the methods and reference section will be updated appropriately. Bestbin is made of several services for running these workflows. The website allows a researcher to select a workflow, configure, and run jobs. The jobs API provides REST endpoints used by the website to manage the jobs. The job control backbone communicates with OpenStack, creating a VM for each job, attaching appropriate storage. The backbone also shepherds the VM through staging data from our institutional data store and running the CWL workflow. Initially, we used the reference CWL implementation to run our workflows. To improve parallel performance workflow, we switched to using Toil. But there is a pull request out there to speed that up, so we may be switching back. In addition to the output data produced by the workflow, we include a copy of the methods and reference document shown earlier. To encourage reuse and reproducibility outside of Bestman, we include a reproducibility kit. In the results delivered to the researcher, this includes a packed copy of the workflow that was run, the complete job order, instructions to set up the CWL reference runner, and logs from the run. Initially, we thought we could completely automate the process. A researcher inputs the data on the website, the workflow runs successfully, and the researchers get the output data. However, there may be statistical anomalies present in the results of a Bestman job. Even worse, our researcher might not have the expertise to recognize them. This might not be good science. So we added a data verification step, where the results of a Bestman job are sent to a bioinformatics expert for review before final delivery to the researcher. This way, the researcher receiving the output will have a good understanding of the quality of the results and necessary remediation. In this way, we can produce a result that our institution can stand behind. All our code for investment services and workflows is available on GitHub. Thank you. <laughs>